Hi guys, today I'll be talking about uh, which type of feeders you should use for your birds and also I'll be reviewing the Ecclesi uh, feeder from 2GR that you can see on the left. Here I'll start with the smaller one. This is a very small feeder for medicine or I sometimes use it for soft food. Uh, I think they are called finger feeders or something like that because they are small, the size of a finger. You can see right here that quite a lot of food gets in. Uh, one of these is enough soft food for one bird for half a day so they will eat two of these in 12 hours the next type of feeders i believe you're very familiar with are these ones here in uh, transparent and uh, this nice blue tint these are pretty standard they come nowadays with almost any cage that you can find on the market they are really good. I only use them for grid, to be honest, because if you use them for seed, the birds have a tendency to leave the husks inside and you have to uh, sieve them every day or blow on them. Uh, for grid, they are just perfect. There's no problem with that. Just make sure they're always filled. Also for salt food, I don't really like using them like they were intended to because uh, once the um, if you don't fill them up, uh, the bird has quite a hard time reaching to the bottom of the feeder. What I like to use them when I give soft food is remove the the cap and put the soft food inside and use these hooks here and hook them like this inside the cage on a door uh, this part goes on the inside and this part goes on the outside i know it's vice versa than it should be but it, it works pretty good and the birds can can see it here the edge is not sharp it doesn't uh, hurt them and they can eat from them like this i don't recommend using them like this but in case of an emergency it works just fine and I prefer the blue tint uh, because it looks good and some people believe that uh, it also helps to keep the, the sun out. The next type of feeder is this one. This is a very simple and basic feeder. It just hangs inside the cage and you put the food in here and that's about it. It doesn't have an edge where the birds can see it, but again, the edge is not sharp and they're fine. This is quite a big one, so you can store plenty of food in here. The only disadvantage is they will leave the husks in if you're using it for seed and for anything else, they will get it dirty very, very quickly, as with any type of internal feeder. Here I have the Ecclesi feeder from 2GR which I'll be reviewing uh, more in depth in just a while. Here we have another type of feeder. This is a aviary or flight cage feeder. It goes on the inside. It has these hooks and it uh, hangs on the wire of the cage. Uh, it has this ledge for the birds to sit comfortably and eat out and it has these dividers which uh, prevent the birds from actually hopping inside and getting the food dirty again as with any internal type of feeder they will leave husks inside the edge and the divider are removable so if you for some reason need or want to use them like this it is possible i use them only for uh, soft food in flight cages i don't like to use them for seeded 
because uh, for seed I always like to use uh, the Ecclesi feeders and you'll learn in a second why. Here we have the Ecclesi feeder. It comes with three hole size adapters. This small one, which is for smaller birds like zebra finches. The medium one that you see installed right now, which is for most canaries and medium sized birds. And this bigger one, which is for bigger birds and canaries like Norwich and birds with big heads and necks. For Gloucesters, I've used this at the beginning and I noticed that the hole is too big and they can get themselves almost their entire body inside and leave the husks in, which defeats the purpose of this feeder. So I switched to the medium one and to be honest, I'm using 14 of these feeders and out of the 14, uh, 12 perform flawlessly uh, meaning there's no husks left in inside the feeder but I have a few smaller Gloucesters which can get uh, quite a bit uh, further inside the feeder and they, they tend to leave the husks in. I don't want to change to the smaller ones because then I'm afraid that some of them might not be able to to grab the seed. So this is a compromise I'm willing to make. When you're installing this you want to break this apart, connect this two together like this and pop it inside there. Don't use this without uh, an adapter otherwise it will just defeat its purpose. It has a lid which is nice, it protects the seed from getting dust inside. You can store 240 grams of seed. It is, you can actually disassemble it if you want to, to give it a deep clean. If my seed has some, some, some dust in it, I need to, to sieve it. It has these uh, hooks to, to hang on the cage and it has this small notches on the lower part so it can fix itself on the wire and it has this nice leg so you can put it on a flat surface when, when you remove it from the cage and it doesn't spill seed all over your floor. What's nice about them is that they work uh, on any uh, standard um, cage feeder door and they work especially good with uh, two GR ones because the cages fit right between the hooks otherwise you might need to to, to move the, the, the door about or do some minor changes to the cage but uh, nothing, nothing major. One nice thing about this feeder is, is that you can uh, fill them up with seed and go on a vacation without any worries that your birds will starve uh, they don't really need to be uh, sieved or, or blown a a every day. You can easily let them go for a week. And even the birds that I, I mentioned previously that leave uh, husks inside, uh, they don't leave that much, uh, that many husks, so, so it becomes a problem within a week. Overall, I, I strongly recommend you, you look into buying this. It's a great investment and I use them on my flight cages for my young, I use them on my breeding cages and everybody uh, fig figured out how to use them as soon as I gave it to them and some of them were a bit reluctant uh, in the beginning but they, they soon um, adapted. Here you can see them installed on the cages and the bird as you can see just pops on the on the porch and sticks its head inside. Here's the other type of feeder. You can see I only have grit in it. You can use them for seed as well in case you don't want to invest in 
some other types of feeders. But I recommend you to, it will make your life so much easier. And that's it guys for this episode. I want to thank you for the huge support. We are needing 200 subscribers, thanks to you. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.